What's up YouTube? Manuel here and welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. Today we have Mr. Sean Santa Maria and it's his time to do the one-on-one -on -one interview with me. I'm so scared. <laughs> so stick around. Okay guys, so now we're here at Greenbelt. <laughs> Strike anywhere. Strike anywhere. <laughs> So I'm here to do my one-on-one -on -one interview with Mr. Sean Santa Maria. It's been a while. We've done a lot of video, but pero wala wala pa tayo ano one one-on-one, de ba? Wala pa, wala pa. And so, I, I, I'm afraid that this day would come. Basta walang math, ha? Basta walang math. <laughs> walang math. Uh, definitely, definitely one math. Walang walang wala tayong math. So let's start with my usual question. What what sneakers do you remember as a child? Yan. A lot come to mind, no? Pero mm -hmm. one of the first truly memorable sneakers was a, a green Grosby sneaker that my mom gave me for my birthday. I believe oh. I was in grade 2. Green na Grosby na mukhang Chuck Taylor yung po, no? Ah, And it was okay, called, okay, okay. It was called the Painter. Imagine him with a green, uh, oh. medyo nylon finish uh, with that uh, signature uh, rubber toe cap. Mm -hmm. Mukhang Chuck Taylor. And it was called the the Grosby Cager. Alala ko pa because I asked my mother, uh, "What's a cager?" And she told me it's another name for a basketball player. Uh, so, yeah. And so yun yung Grosby. Uh, yun alala mong sneakers during yes, that time. Yes. So and then the most memorable. Okay. And then as you you grow older, ano ba yung what are the sneakers that the, you you normally wear? Like, di ba grade two, right? Then grade three, grade four, agang boom grade school. Iba iba. Sa totoo lang, there wasn't such thing as brand loyalty at the time. Mm -hmm. I would I would wear what mom and dad bought me. Okay. And typically these were Pumas, mm -hmm. Adidas, the generic. Mm -hmm. I never really owned super expensive Jordans as a kid, diba? mm -hmm. And uh, who did, right? Except if you're the super rich, uh -huh. you, your mom and dad could afford the Jordans. Sige, good. Uh, I owned Jordans when I was a uh, little older na, teens na. Pero, so Adidas na generic, mga Puma, ganyan. The, the first real basketball sneaker na may presyo, naalala ko. Sige kuya, lagi mo lang. Tuloy mo lang. Sige, naalala ko, uh, was, uh, I was in first year high school, Reebok na above the rim. Ay, oo. Oh, oh. Ganda yung above the rim na yan. Oo, oh, alo, mga black top, mga hexa, Ay, oh, hexa light, oh, ganyan. Hexalite. So I had a Reebok above the rim na uh, full grain leather na makapal yung swelas na isa sa mga unang, uy, nasa expensive sneaker category na. Yeah, yung Reebok, yung, yung, yung naglabas sila ng pump talagang ano yun, diba? Yeah, Diyan talaga sila bumomba nung time na yun. Eh. Talagang, yeah. hindi that it's Reebok against Nike. Adidas, wala. Diba? During the time, Nike is right. Uh, grade 2 or grade 3 ako, nagbabas yata yung one of the first Reebok pumps. Pump. Uh, yep, yep. And uh, there were these brothers sa school namin na uh, kilalang mayama. Anak ng mga kilalang artista. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko na sasabihin, pero uh, these brothers, uh, isang, grade, isang grade 3, isang grade 4, uh -huh. they were the first ones to own Reebok, Reebok pumps. pumps. Yung ba yung black na orange yung bola? At the, at white ito, na may mga TPU na gray na orange yung bola. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe this was the only light. Uh, ah, okay, okay. When I was growing up, teens na rin ako nagkara ng Jordan. My first Jordan actually was uh, Jordan 9. Nice. And then, cool. ano siya, hindi siya yung normal na. Yung olive yung ano, olive yung stripe niya. So it, it was a black and olive uh, Jordan 9 na nabili namin sa duty free. <laughs> panalo. So, panalo, di ba? Mura pa yun yung time na yun. So, uh, yun yung first na Jordan ko. As a child, normally I was a Nike kid growing up. But uh, mga nasa palagian, I'm, no, I'm not sure if you remember Montragon. Yes, Isabel. yeah, distributor na Nike. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, Montragon. Every every December yan, meron yung sale. Eh. Yes, yes. Dito sa Makati. And sa then, ba yan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my father always uh, brings us, my, me and my brother, every December. Yun yung parang Christmas gift. Marami kami na sneakers Doon sa Mondragon. Maraming hindi makakarelate. Oh, ano yung ano Mondragon? Yeah, Mondragon actually is the, the first, no, if I'm not mistaken, they're the original OG ano yan, uh, reseller ng Nike. Yes. Kaya official na uh, nagbibenta ng Nike. Yes. And every December, they do have a really good sale like Nike Airs for less than 2000 Yun yung mga fresh. Anyway, so yun na. Great school. 
teenager na tayo so ano na ano nang naging sneaker game natin dyan na tayo nahilig di ba I was a lover from afar lover okay. from a distance mm-hmm. yan um, some of my barkada uh, had Jordans before me mm-hmm. yeah uh, oh yeah so tingin-tingin lang tayo <laughs> tingin-tingin pero y- the, the love was always there uh, I would borrow the sneaker I would look at it eh, sa, sa tropa namin growing up uh, sneakers ng isa sneakers na lahat oo oh, hiraman uh, naman yan nun eh pag ako may bago ikot na rin yan we had a joke sasama na ba sa rotation yung bago mong maong mm-hmm. yan yun so anyway uh, the first Jordan that really fascinated me fascination I love sneakers talagang wow it was the Jordan 4 oo oh, classic naman talaga oh, yung, uh, yung white red color way my classmate had a pair and I was like I was envious ang ganda so Air Jordan 4 unang Air Jordan 4 na nakita ko yung cement yung white and yung cement na yeah, colorway white cement oh yun yung, yung pinaka unang unang Jordan parang wow ano yan yes so futuristic oh. no? the, the, the yung, yung TPU dun sa gilid oh, oh what, what, what shoe had that at the time pati yung net dun sa gilid pati sa tam tapos nagulat ako nung lumabas yung 5 so yung 3M Reflective ganda na isa yun sa mga una yung 5 yung black so, so, yung sa tila yung dila 3M yeah. Reflective yeah. That, that was yes. like Wow, this is the future of... My like, classmate had that. Uh, you made 23 pa sa gilid. Black. Tapos yung reflective yung tang. Alam ko pa pangalan nun. Hindi ko napapanggitin because... Wow, man. Boys, no? Uh, ang, ang thing for boys, sapatos, eh. Yes. Cover shoes, eh. Yes. Diba? So, that's what... Uh, it, it's sad, you know. It, it's, it's a blessing and a curse. But boys growing up, at least our time... Uh, we were somewhat defined by the sneakers that we wore. Hey, bata ka, what do you know? You're oh, a kid. Yeah. Oh, he's the, he's the, oh, kilala mo si Jason? Ah, siya yung naka-Jordan. Ah, Jordan, oh. Yeah, ganun yun eh. Tapos, uh, growing up, actually, syempre, I, I, like what you said, ako rin, hanggang tingin lang. Hmm. Hanggang tingin lang. So guys, we were like you guys, pero wala lang kaming YouTube nun, na para mapanood yung mga iba pang mga sneakers. Kayo nga, It's it's good for you because you can see ano ba yung mga sneakers na na meron, di ba? Kami ko ano lang yung nakikita namin sa mga classmates namin. Yun lang yung alam natin eh. Yes. Ngayon mas marami na yung knowledge na about sneakers. Pero yun nga, that uh, fueled us to to study hard and work harder para when the time comes we can buy what we want. Diba? Yeah, that, that's the perfect segue. I had a comment just this morning. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Sir Sean, uh, idol ko po kayo and, and all the pleasantries. Okay. Thank you for that. No, um, I want to be a sneakerhead, mm. but I don't have money. I'm only 13 years old. No, 13 na pagbata. What do I do? Mm. Sabi ko, you start with asking for sneakers from mom and dad, because the situation is that you are 13 years old. You do not have money yet. Remind them of your birthday. Remind them of Christmas. Be nice to them, be kind, get good grades. Then, if your budget allows it, if you're a family who has an income that can allow for expensive sneakers, you can probably ask. But if the situation is, you're strapped for cash, hindi kaya ng pamilya, hindi kaya ng income ang mga sapatos, reality yan bro. It's not yet your time. Mag-iipon ka ngayon, magbebenta ka, mag-iipon ka. That's where the hustle and grind comes in. Diba? Most sneakerheads our age, nung nagkatrabaho, ayan, saka nagbili ng sneakers. Nung nagkapera, saka pala nagkaroon, nung mga sneakers na hindi sila nagkaroon when they were kids. Yeah. Same, same, same with me actually. Yung Jordan 11 na yan, sobrang sobrang gusto ko yan before. Never ako nagkaroon yan before. Mm-hmm. Nagkaroon na ako ng Jordan 11, nung nagtrabaho na ako. Yes, yes. Never ako nagkaroon ng... ng, ng kasi sobrang classic yung Concord, sobrang... Sobrang so gusto ko yeah. talaga yung Concords na yan. Hanggang tingin lang ako doon. May Concords ako, hindi ko pa nasusuko. Ito yung 2018 release. Yung 45. Hindi ko pa nasusuko. Parang parang ewan. Ayaw ko sa ote din. Ayaw ko din. Parang ewan eh. Pag linagay mo sa paa mo, parang madudumihan ka agad. Oo. Yung charol niya eh. Oo. Isang apak lang, may crease na. So huwag na. Oo nga, huwag na. Parang ewan eh. Parang ano eh. Natitempa ko minsan. Pero yun nga. Anyway. Ito, ito, ito. Oo. Pag naglaro tayo, so natin. Pwede. Pwede, pwede, pwede. Uh, Babangan natin yan. Babangan nyo yan, guys. <laughs> Pag-isipan mo natin. Uh, Pag-isipan mo natin. <laughs> But anyway, yun nga guys, I mean, being a sneakerhead, ah, hindi yan, ano eh, hindi yan yung 
gusto kong maging sneakerhead is that about is that like that diba hindi uh, diba minsan hindi decision yan eh oh hindi siya decision eh parang okay. nangikusa na lang siya ng nangyari maging sneakerhead ka oh. like like for me <coughs> our family hindi rin naman kami nabibila ng ng mamahalin ng mga sapatos ng parents nagsimula ako ng my ticket naging Nike yan pero yun nga sa Mondragon pagka mga ma 1,000 pesos 2,000 pesos lang yung mga sapatos na binibili ng pero ang laki na nung po ang laki na nung pride nung time na yun nung time na yun pero yung mga mamahalin nung nasa mga 4,000 5,000 na yes. yun yung mga price nung kami hanggang mga 2,000 pinakamahal na yun yung best yun. Yan, oo. so at that time nung nag high school ako I'm, I'm quite blessed kasi meron akong brother so ngayon dalawa kami mahilig sa sneakers. So ngayon, dalawa kami nag-iipon. So every every ano, ipon kami ng shoes mga every 6 months o to 1 year kung may maipon na, doon na kami bumibili ng sneakers. Yeah. So may katulong ako mag-ipon para ano, mag uh, magkaroon ng sneakers. Tapos there was a time also when I was in high school na ano kasi ako swimmer ako noon. So nice nung araw 'yun. Back in the day, <laughs> swimmer's body. <laughs> <laughs> Ngayon wala na. <laughs> so, medyo may 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 pinapa-schedule tayo ng Quezon City ng time na yun eh. So, medyo meron tayong additional income plus your your baon na hindi mo na masyado ititipid mo talaga ta. So, nakakaroon tayo ng extra cash na pambili ng sneakers siguro after 6 to 1 year, 6 months to 1 year. So, doon na kami nag-start magkaroon ng mga konti-konti na medyo mamahaling sa tapos ng, ng kapatid ko. So, yun. Nice. So, Anyway, next next question. Oh. Nawala ba yung pagiging sneakerhead mo? Like from from grade school, high school, start mag work, family, up to now, biglang ngayon, di ba? Sneakerhead. Maybe there was, was there a time na parang nawala siya? Good, good question yun eh. Um, I wouldn't say totally nawala. Mm-hmm. Pero there was a uh, there was a lull, I would say. Mm-hmm. Okay. If, if being a sneakerhead is to be defined as the continuous, consistent acquisition of sneakers, I had a period na tigil. Same with me. This was, uh, siguro, my... Uh, okay, I can identify the years, siguro. Siguro 2006 to 2000... Uh, I don't know, 2009? Mm-hmm. That was a time na nag-iipon, mm-hmm. nagbabalak na makasal, mm-hmm. kapibili lang ng bagong kotse, binabayaran pa. Mm-hmm. So andun yung being more conscious about expenditure. expenditure. Kasi okay, ito na real life na ito eh. Yan, o, at saka nag-iipon na, balak na maging, uh, maging independent. So, ang sneakers hindi mo rin. Mm-hmm. Lalo na ngayon. Oh, 5,000 ang pinakamahina at that time, ah, yung, yung mga years na minensyon ko. So, doon medyo humina ang pagtili. Pero, pumalik eh, hindi mo nga wala. Oo, oh, ako actually, ang dahing beses na eh. Sobra ako nung high school, tsaka nung college, little bit, mga early, early ano ng college, medyo mahilig pa rin ako, buhibili pa rin ako ng sneakers. Pero yun na yung mga polo sports na mga sneakers. Yes, yes. Yung mga ganyan. Pero nawala yun. Nung nag- nag-work ako, nawala eh. Medyo may time na nawala siya, 2002, 2003. Medyo nawala na siya. Tapos, kumuhibili ako ng mga sneakers. Yung mga, ano na siya, more on running shoes. Yes, yes. Running shoes performs yung mga comfortable sneakers. Pero, yung maabot din ng isang taon, isa lang. Yes. Matagal yun. And then, mga 2014, medyo nahilig ako ulit. Nag-ibuli ako ng mga Jordan. Doon ako nagsimula, mga Jordan, Kobe, yung mga yan. Tapos, ano lang yun, saglit lang yun, less than a year, nawala. Nawala siya. Back to work, seryoso. And then, ito na. Kaya tayo napastart ng sneaker channel. And on that note, yun ang next question ko sa'yo. How did you start your YouTube channel? Diba? Paano ba siya? Actually, it just happened eh. Ito uh-huh. pagdating na yung... Buko lagay mo lang dyan sa uh-huh. sa camera. What inspired you to make your own YouTube channel? Okay, it was one of those why not things. Okay. So, uh, just like you, just like many other sneaker YouTubers. Just like any other YouTuber for that matter. It started with watching other people uh-huh. and uh, admiring them and somewhat idolizing them and realizing na, hey, I think I want to do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Exactly. I know. I can feel it. Diba? Diba? Oh, so, eh. Yes, yes. I've been watching people like um, 
Jack Slade and Seth and locally of course Carlo um, who by the way is only one year and some weeks or months years so you to meteoric talagang exponential rise talaga and growth so uh, yeah so pinapanood ko lang sila then I just said why not why not I know a lot about sneakers I have a bunch of sneakers I think I can speak in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. One day, I put on my Ultra Boost laceless. I did a home workout, filmed myself using my old Samsung. I edited. Then I said, okay, let's uh, let's try another video next week. Then next week, then next week, like in twice a week. Then I decided to do it daily. And uh, here I am. Here I am. So, your first video, you posted right away. I No, no. I made that video. Like with the with, with the intention of posting it on YouTube. Okay, okay. Yep, I edited it. It was it was a four minute video which I edited. You know, two days. Ah, uh, okay. Two days. And daming tanggalin ko to, dagdag ko to. Ano ba music dito? Actually, ho yun wala music. Ano bang uh, ano bang artistry ang pwede kong apply dito? Then I, I loaded it. So I don't know, John. Your first video for two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> two days lang. Two weeks. Di lang eh. Di tayo pati yung pagtake kasi. Hindi kasi talaga ako sanay umarap ng camera eh. So, pag konting mali, ayoko to ulit. Yan. Yeah. I was trying to memorize everything. Kasi meron akong ano eh, kaya present. So, inaalala ko lahat ng nasa sa... Tapos minsan, nagpuputol ka eh. So, hindi ko pa alam yung technique at that time. Yung nagsasalitar. Ngayon, ginawa ko siya. Part, 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 cut. Okay. One sentence, yeah. cut. One sentence. Ganun nalang ginawa ko nung ano. Pero nung una, two weeks. But you 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 were making that video with the intention of posting it also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because so, I, I I I told myself that yun na talaga yung okay lang po okay lang. Yun yung ano. Pwede yun ka na mang kumawai dito. Oh, so. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Uh, our last question now. Since you have a lot, you started your channel and you have a lot of followers, and for sure we have the same subscribers, diba? So what can you uh? advise our young viewers who wants to have their own sneaker collection and be a sneaker head yeah so i'm, I'm gonna start with uh, telling them a piece of our conversation kanina na napakaganda being a sneaker head being a sneaker enthusiast ayoko pala gamitin yung word the sneaker head oh, at a dime a dozen na uh, ang dali na maging sneaker head ngayon eh oh, oh mag-aaral ka lang pumusta ka lang siguro topic yan what is a sneaker head oh, oh, eh, ano ba yung definition yeah but that, that's the word that's being thrown around that's the word that's being used so okay. ang, ang pagiging sneaker head hindi naman decision yun eh ang magiging sneaker head ako mm -hmm. hindi ganun yan eh It's, uh, it, it, it just happens if you have a true passion for sneakers if you love sneakers Papapit si mo na lang magugrow yung collection mo, right? So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna divide my advice into two. Okay. Dito mo na tayo sa mga estudiante, sa mga bata na hindi pa kumikita ng pera. Kasi pag kumikita ka ng pera, ang dali mag-decide kung bibili. Pag gusto mo, bibili ka, di ba? So sa mga estudiante, if 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 you're young, so the way to do it is to ask mom and dad. That's the reality, di ba? Get good grades. Be uh, be obedient. Follow their instructions. Remind them of your birthday, remind them of Christmas. I don't know. Remind them of Christmas. Ganyan yan eh. Sell stuff, di ba? Do chores. Maghanap ng mga pagkakakitaan. That's how you will get your sneakers. Dun sa mga kumikita naman, kailangan mag-budget. Di ba? If you're earning and if you want a sneaker fund, ganito lang eh. You have to create a deficit. Earn more, spend less. Kung ano yung nasa gitna, kung kaya, yan na pang sneakers. Panoorin nyo yung video nilang dalawa ni Carlo. Meron silang... Actually, like meron. <laughs> Nagustuhan ko yan, actually, nung naparod ko yun. So, yeah. okay ko. Simple lang, real-life practical advice. So, yun, yun lang. Yun, yun lang ang masyashare ko. Sa pagiging collector, sa pagiging sneakerhead. Hindi naman decision din yan minsan. Oh, eh. it, just it just happened. It just happened. Anyway, on that note, we will we don't have much time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Sean, you want to plug your channel? Yeah, nag enjoy ako dito, by the way. Thanks for having me. Ah. Yeah, sure, your channel. Man. So, guys, if, if you like Manuel's content, um, consider checking out my channel and subscribe if uh, you like my work. And uh, we incidentally have a giveaway. Yes. 
Ayan, meron kaming partnership giveaway. Yeah. Adidas Night Jogger. So, Ayan, yan yung uh, mechanics. Eh. Just uh, watch any of my recent videos, Andon. And we're gonna post the mechanics also in, in the, the description. description box. So, they do yeah. so, thank you guys. And uh, enjoy ako dito, Manuel. Palagi. Pag dito ko lang tayo. Ituloy natin na ituloy ito, okay? Game ako dyan palagi. No doubt. On our channel, we also have two giveaways. Uh, we currently have the Air Jordan 1 uh, Low Black Toe and then the Ultra Boost 19. So all the mechanics of the giveaways are on the description box down below. And then another plug. Kung napansin nyo ba yung aking... <laughs> yung bagong lifestyle and sneakers na t-shirt natin. Medyo mas malig siya ngayon. So this is gonna be our merch. And it will be coming out soon. Uh, this is made by Above the Ankle. So guys, uh, make sure to wait for my announcement ng pre-orders because on the pre-order, meron tayong special price. So, so guys, medyo maganda tong t-shirt na to. 3M Reflective. Tapos maganda pa yung material. Above the Ankle gumawa. So I hope you could support that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and to Sean's channel, please do so and follow us on all our social media accounts. Until next time.